Today, Konami introduced Season 7 in eFootball 24, and on this occasion of Season 7, Konami introduced six national packs. And now, by looking at these six national packs, I'm pretty much sure that in everyone's mind, there is one question which national pack is best to go with your eFootball coins. So don't worry and chillax. I'm here to help you out to choose the best manager pack that suits you perfectly. So without wasting much time, let's head straight into the video. Before starting the video, I would like to tell you an interesting thing about the players that are there in all these six national packs. Interesting thing is with these cards or these players, you can complete both club as well as national events. Earlier when you used to get the national cards of particular player, you were not able to use those players in uh, club events. You were limited to use them for only national events. But these cards, you will be able to use them for club as well as national events. As you can see that they are registered with both nation as well as club. So criteria number one is if you are interested for this pack because of the managers then go for Deschamps from French pack. If LBC is the main play style for you and you only play with LBC, then this will be the best for you since he is the highest team play style proficiency LBC manager in game. Before going further into the video, I would just like to clarify that this team play style proficiency only affects your players overall rating and stats. Managers have no control on the way the players will perform on the pitch. It all depends upon the play style that you choose now if you are a long ball tactics user you love to play with long ball then you should go for martinez this is the highest team play style proficiency manager of long ball in the game now if your main team play style tactics is out wide then you should go for montella from turkey's pack he's the highest out wide manager in game as of now and now all the managers that we set for the respective play style they give good boosters as well boosters in the sense uh, the stats boost for all the players that will be playing in your squad d sams gives you plus one in speed martinez gives you plus one in physical contact physical co contact is very important for long ball tactics and the manager from turkey pack gives you plus one stats boost in stamina if you play a long ball counter if you play long ball and you play out wide in the game then this pack is best for you now comes the second type of managers which are very unique and has come for the first time in this game and is very exciting as well because with these type of managers you will have two play style to choose from during the match generally when you have other managers uh, managers which we discussed before they are 88 team play style proficiency in lbc their 88 team play style proficiency in out wide, 88 team play style proficiency in long ball. But if your tactics doesn't work, you want to change the uh, tactics, then you can't change it. If you change it, your place rating and stats will decrease. So now these type of managers has arrived, which we are talking about. They are multi utility managers. Now, for example, you have you are playing quick counter tactics and you have scored the goal. Now you want to hold the lead of the goal that you have scored so what you'll do it you'll switch to lbc tactics and then just try to defend the entire match so that's the benefit you get while choosing this manager but there is a disadvantage as well the disadvantage is not much it's not massive the only disadvantage is you will not be able to get the maximum boost or maximum stats of certain players because 88 team playstyle boost managers gives you maximum boost for the player stats and ratings but when you go to managers who are less than that which we are talking about in this managers which you will see then you will not be getting the maximum boost in that player stats and overall rating rest gameplay you will have multiple options while playing it so this looks a bit exciting first manager would be scaloni from argentina pack so if you are a position player and also you like to play quick count then this uh, scaloni manager is a perfect fit for you because earlier you could change the formation in between the match now you could you can change the formation as well as change the team play style proficiency and you can impact the game in different ways next unique manager up for grasp is from england national pack that is southgate who has long ball team play style proficiency of 87 and quick counter team play style proficiency of 86 so if you are comfortable with long ball counter as well as quick counter and you want to switch the tactics in these then this is the perfect manager for you and now the third unique manager from this manager pack it will be from brazil national pack which is andre case if you are comfortable with quick counter and long ball tactic switch then you should go for this manager but if you want to go for this manager only for the quick counter tactics then don't go for this manager better go for xavi alonso if you just want to play quick counter if you want to switch between quick counter and long ball then this manager is perfect for you 
Now, if you ask my pick on which I'll be choosing based on the managers, my choices will be for Scaloni of Argentina path and Southgate from England path. The reason being me being comfortable with QC and position. Now, criteria number two would be you are going for this path because of the players. Now, here we have two premium pack. One is Argentina, another one is France, which costs you 1500 football coins. Next bunch of national pack is England, Portugal, Turkey and Brazil. So this will cost you 900 eFootball coins. Both premium as well as normal national pack gives you 11 players along with manager. But the only difference is premium pack comes with big time booster cards. So there are two big time booster cards. One is in Argentina premium pack. Another one is in France premium pack. So Argentinian premium pack Messi is a 105 rated player and comes with the play style of deep line forward. So if you already have the previous big time uh, deep lying forward Argentina Messi no need to go for this Messi because there is just slight difference in the stats and the rating of the players now, if you already have a deep lying forward featured card and you like using it then you can go for this Messi because it will just cost you 1500 coins and you'll be getting a big time booster epic card now, talking about the France pack Griezmann he also goes to 105 rating and is a whole player and this Griezmann card is the best Griezmann card in game if you love whole players then Griezmann is the perfect pick for you he has a very good finishing with quite a good dribbling offensive and the stats are looking very impressive so he's the must pick if you want to get the best card of Griezmann in game then this is the perfect pick for you so now talking about the normal players that are there in the pack now I'll be giving you a rating of this players first let's uh, talk in brief like what all uh, what all players are there in these packs Argentina pack consists of 299 rated cards and 198 rated card out of which apart from Messi five players are standard card and five players are unwavering card France pack consists of 299 rated cards and 298 rated cards. Out of these players, three players are in consistent form, out of which your 99 rated Dembele is also in consistent form. And then you have four unwavering form players and three standard form players. Third pack would be England national pack. It consists of 102 rated card, 101 rated card, 299 rated cards and 298 rated cards out of which one player is inconsistent and none of these high rated cards that i named are in consistent form four players are unwavering form and six players are standard form talking about the next pack which is your portugal pack portugal pack consists of 200 rated cards 399 rated cards and 198 rated cards out of which one player is in consistent form which is your 100 rated Rafa Leon. six players are standard form and four players are unwavering form next pack would be turkey national pack which consists of 100 rated card 299 rated cards and 298 rated cards out of that you have one 18 year old Arda Guler who is 97 rated card as well out of these cards Four cards are inconsistent form. From the top cards which I had named, only one card is inconsistent, which is your 99 rated Demiral. Five players are standard form and two players are unwavering form. Going to the last pack, Brazil National Pack, which consists of 100 rated card and 398 rated cards. Out of which eight cards are standard form and three cards are unwavering form. My opinion on which pack would be best based on the featured card, not on the epic cards. I'm not judging the packs based on Messi and Griezmann. I have already given my opinion when you should go for Messi pack and when you should go for Griezmann pack. My first pick based on the featured players that are in this pack would be England National Pack. It is absolutely great pack with a lot of uh, great players as well as the manager also you get a multi-manager. So it's a very good pick to go for. My second pick would be Portugal pack, despite 100 rated Rafael Leao being in consistent form, but still there are a lot of players who go high rating as well as their stats are very good. My third pick would be Argentina pack because it consists of high rated cards as well as the low rated cards which are there like 97, 96 rated cards. They are also quite good and impressive like Emi Martinez, Otamendi and all these. Their stats are very impressive as well as manager that is there that is Scaloni can play multiple play styles. So my pick for the third position would be Argentina pack. My fourth pick would be Turkey national pack. Despite four players of this pack being inconsistent form players, still we have a many high rated cards in this game with very good stats. And out of these four inconsistent form players, only one 99 rated card, which is a Demiral is inconsistent. Rest, we have a lot of high rated cards with very good and impressive stats for the featured players in this Turkey national pack. My fifth pick based on the featured cards would be France national pack. 
because in this France National Pack, three players are in consistent form. One is your highest rated feature card, Dembele, who is your inconsistent form. After that, there are also other two cards, which is high rated card in this pack, which is your Upamikano and Thurram. Despite being high rated card, they are inconsistent form. So you have to play with a lot of low rated cards from this pack because again, they are inconsistent form players and their form is not guaranteed to stay in all the matches. And now my final and the last pick would be Brazil pack because it has good players like four players are good and the rest players are okay types average players. So that's why I have uh, placed them in the last in, in my order last. But if you have the criteria of uh, center backs and all then you can go for him. But again this Marquinhos we had already got in nominating contract pack with very good stats again. That's why I have kept this uh, Brazil pack at the extreme end. So with this, we come to an end with the things that you needed to know before choosing this pack. I hope you look into this criteria and make choices based on that. See, if you have a lot of eFootball coins, you don't have uh, limitations, then you can go for all. But when you have limited coins, then you have to see these criteria, like what all squad players you need, what all uh, like uh, team pack gives you maximum uh, things like maximum players will be there who will be like a squad player for you so these all criteria matters a lot so that's why i've segregated this criteria now based on this criteria you need to make choice like which pack suits you perfectly so that will be it from our side i hope you found this video to be good and informative if yes then do hit the thumbs up and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed the channel roger takes off peace out